Hello and welcome to my third scene analysis project composition. In this video, I will be analyzing the tricycle scenes from The Shining, directed by Stanley Kubrick, and I will be talking about the composition, the sound, and the camera movement. The Shining, starring Jack Nicholson, is about a family that is hired to take care of a hotel in the winter season, while the father works on his writing and his wife and son live with him. The family soon begins to experience strange, seemingly paranormal activity, and the father slowly descends into madness, taking his family along for the ride. This affects the psyches of his wife and son in different ways. Danny experiences visions and nightmares, and he talks to his finger, treating it like an imaginary friend or a creepy companion named Tony, implying that something supernatural may be afoot. In the tricycle scene, Danny is riding his big wheel through mitzmashed hallways of the hotel and is stopped by two things. He stops his tricycle in front of room 237, which seems to have caught his eye for a seemingly unknown reason. But the door is locked, so he continues on his tricycle, and then he is stopped by the vision of twins standing in front of him. The twins go from being alive to being brutally murdered in the blink of an eye, and they ask Danny to play with them before Danny eventually covers his eyes. Stanley Kubrick is skilled in making an audience feel suspense, dread, and anticipation. He does this through the use of sound and cinematography. At the beginning of the scene, Danny is riding his tricycle through an empty and long hallway. The only sound that is present is that of him pedaling, with no other soundtrack in the background. The scene is shot on a steady cam, following Danny through the halls, and the framing makes the viewers feel as small as Danny is, which induces a feeling of vulnerability. The steady cam is useful in making the walls feel like they are moving, as opposed to Danny which gives the overall scene an eerie effect. As the scene continues, the music begins, and it is a low, quiet sound that is mostly made up of just ringing. This is slowly taken over by a lot of violins, which sound almost like buzzing. When Danny stops in front of room 237, the appearance of the door itself is not inherently eerie, but at this moment, the music dips and crescendos, inspiring a feeling of apprehension in the audience. The melody rises and falls and continues to develop as Danny moves on and the scene continues. When the audience is finally faced with the reason for the buildup, Danny encounters the twins. The twins are two little girls close to Danny in age, and they appear to be completely innocent. However, Kubrick shoots this shot with a wide lens which expands the space around the twins, Danny, and us, and makes it feel all-encompassing and daunting, which makes the twins feel more dangerous than they appear. The twins greet Danny, and they tell him to play with them, but then the scene flashes in between two shots of the girls. One shot is the innocent picture of them holding hands, but the other is their blood-drenched bodies after having been murdered in the hotel. These shots are edited together quickly, interlaced with close-up shots of Danny looking afraid to reflect the feeling of the audience. And eventually, the scene ends when Danny shields his eyes and effectively cuts off his view, as well as the view of the audience. The soundtrack during the scene also adds to the suspense. The music crescendos as the girls are revealed to be standing in the hallway. But once they speak, the sound is reduced to the buzzing from before. This makes the twins seem all the more eerie, and some well-timed beats and crescendos add to the dramatization of their dialogue. The girls' voices are also a bit eerie. They are edited to sound hollow and distant, which adds to the implication that they are in fact ghosts, as opposed to humans like Danny and the audience. The combination of steady cam and wide shots add to the paranormal vibes of the hotel, and the rising and falling soundtrack and sound effects all serve to inspire anticipation and dread in those watching the scene. 
The movie is about a man slowly falling into madness and taking his family down with him. And this scene definitely helps viewers to feel that kind of crazy that the main character and his family are also experiencing. <laughs> 